Hey everybody, Mike Chavez here. Today I'm making my killer barbecue chicken. What I'm going to do, I, when I do barbecue chicken, I make it halves. Take a chicken, cut it in half. I'm going to brine it. So I'm going to show you how I make my brine. The brine, chicken's going to sit in the brine overnight. And then we're going to put it on the pellet cooker tomorrow. So y'all stand by and here we go. To make the brine, we're going to use an entire gallon of water. We're going to start out with half of the gallon. We're going to pour half of the gallon in a good sized pot. Alright, it's about half. Turn the heat on. Gonna, for one gallon, you got to use Three quarter cup of salt. So I got some kosher salt here. Three quarter cup of kosher salt. Three quarter cup of sugar. I'm using turbinado sugar here. But you could use white sugar or you could use brown sugar. Me, I'm using turbinado. Three quarter cup. Now for a basic brine, that's all you really need. But from here you can jazz it up any way you like. What I'm gonna do, give me about a good tablespoon of granulated garlic. About a tablespoon of black peppercorns, whole black peppercorns. A couple of bay leaves. Now, you don't really need to let this come to a boil. The only reason we're heating this up is to dissolve the sugar and the salt. Because I'm going to cut the chickens in half and when we, when we put them in the brine, you want the brine to be cold. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of shakes of Maggi seasoning in here too. Just a few good shakes. Stuff's pretty strong. Alright. As soon as the sugar and salt dissolves all the way, Shut your heat off. Because now we got to cool this down. As soon as the salt and the sugar dissolve. Now, uh, brine serves a couple of purposes. Um, it's going to flavor the chicken all the way through. You get osmosis. Uh, the water penetrates all the way into the flesh of the chicken. Uh, brings the salt with it. And then... Um, it also puts more moisture into the chicken, so you're going to have a whole lot more moist chicken. You could do the same thing with turkey, pork chops, but when I do barbecue chicken, I usually brine it. It's really good. All right, I'll bring you back when uh, we're ready to do the next step. All right, salt and sugar is completely dissolved. Now, next thing we got to do is cool this off. So that's why I saved back half of the bottle of water. So I'm going to add the rest of the gallon into the pot. Right. 
take it off the burner and let that cool a little bit. I'm going to give me a Ziploc bag, uh, fill it with ice, and drop it in there. I don't want to uh, dilute the brine any more than it already is. So remember, one gallon of water, three quarter cup of salt, three quarter cup of sugar, and then whatever other flavorings you want. All right. We want this brine to get down below 40 degrees. So after putting the water in there, look it up. It's at 90 right now. So we need to bring this down as close to 40 degrees as we can. So I've taken a one gallon Ziploc, filled it up with ice. We'll set that down in there and let this uh, brine cool off. Like I said, we want that brine to be as close to 40 degrees as we can before we put the chicken in it. All right, guys. <clears throat> I got a couple of roasting chickens here, about six pounds a piece. Nice fat chicken. So now I want to do is cut it in half. What I want to do is remove the backbone first thing. So I got a good pair of poultry shears here, and I want to go to either side of that spine, of the backbone, cut all the way. chunks of fat like that get rid of them and get my big chef's knife out cut right through the breastbone on down all right nice half chicken nice half chicken so what are you gonna do with these got a two gallon ziplock Put it on down inside the ziplock. Now I'm gonna cut the other chicken up. So what I'm gonna do is take this pot, stick the chicken back in there just to hold it. Then I'm gonna cover it with the brine. this on up get the air out all right so we want this chicken to stay in this brine overnight I'm gonna take it put it in my cooler surround it with ice because ain't no room in my refrigerator for this you could put it in the refrigerator if you had enough room so I'm gonna take this put it in the cooler and then tomorrow I'll take it out rinse it off and then get it ready for the grill all right so, got the pot with the chicken in it, in the cooler, got ice all around it, so it's going to stay just like that until the morning. Alright, chickens have been out in the cooler all night. Brought them all in, so you want to go ahead and drain this brine off. Dump them all out. Get rid of the bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse them off in cold water. Let the water drain off as much as you can. dry these chickens off. So I'm going to lay them on some paper towel. Get 
get some more paper towel. Lay them on top. Now you want to get these chickens as dry as you can because that way your skin will be crispy. Then I'm going to put them back in the pan, stick them in the fridge uncovered so that they uh, dry out real good. And then we'll come back with the rest of it. All right, chickens have been sitting in the fridge for a while. So let's give them one more pat with a paper towel. Want them as dry as we can get them. Alright. Now, take and spray them down with some olive oil. both sides all right I'm gonna take my rib rub and do the back side first <clears throat> color on them. And we'll go out and make sure the the cooker's ready. We're going to put these on the uh, pellet cooker. I got some beans on out there right now, but that's another video. All right. All right as you can see, Temperature's a little bit below 250. We're gonna let that climb on up to 350 before we put the chickens on. All right, y'all. Got the cookers up to 350. So we're gonna take these chickens, put them on here skin side down. over a little bit. Alright, we're going to leave them on here about 20 minutes. Then we'll come flip them. Alright. Looking good. Alright. Flip these chickens over. Up. Make sure you get on under that wing. I like a lot of sauce on my chickens. The sweet baby rays is yummy.
give this sauce a chance to set. Come back and check the temperature in a minute. All right, y'all. Check on these chickens. Oh man, they're looking good. Get in there with the thermometer. Oh yeah. Bad boys are ready. these bad boys in the house all right got these in the house I'm gonna put another little coating of sauce on there I love barbecue sauce on chicken photo and then I'm gonna tent them with aluminum foil and let them sit for about 15 minutes or so and then we will sample all right y'all get one of these chickens out here and I'm gonna show you how I cut it up all right so first remove the quarter Look at that. Look at the juice come out of that bad boy. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. Then I take the breast, cut it in half. Then if you want, you can remove the drumstick. And there you go. So, my favorite part is the thigh. So let me get a piece of this. taste oh wow <clears throat> that is delicious man I mean it's seasoned all the way through great flavor let me try some skin mmm wonderful Alright, so next time you barbecue chicken, try brining it first. About 350 on the grill. Or not, you know, 3, 350. That's your internal temp, 169, 170. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Hit that button down there. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. See you next time. Bye-bye now.